So this was the place that we stayed last night. Okay. How we got scary? Because of, because of the antics, lizards and, and frogs. All of those antics. Come on. Oh. When we were eating last night, there was um, a grasshopper, um, a beetle, a big beetle, and also there was a frog and cat. That was so scary. <laughs> Wow, what's behind the scene? <laughs> Guys, there was one big <laughs> beetle jumped on me. Actually, we are living in the jungle where the because beetles... We had an 8 hours drive to reach Mikomi. On the way, we saw the beautiful, lush and scenic mountainous landscape through the roads of Tanzania. A stopover in Masai Craft Center and bought Come some authentic crafts. Really? Yes. Can I buy? Yeah, let's buy. It is an amazing experience to taste different flavors. One of the authentic food of Tanzania is Nyama Choma, means grilled meat. The food was very delicious and flavorful. Okay, this is a traditional food of Tanzania. This is ugali. Okay. And how we eat this is, we need to take a roll of it, then uh, dip it over here in the sauce and then... Mm. We continued our journey after having a perfect lunch. Finally, we reached Metambesi Safari Lodge. The room was luxurious and comfortable and served us with a local Tanzanian dish, Dizi Nyama. All set. Now we will have our breakfast. The park is crossed by Tanzanian A7 Highway. We are in Mikumi National Park. Mikumi National Park is fourth largest national park in Tanzania. It is bordered with Uluguru and Udzungwa Mountains. The park consists of savanna with acacia, baobab, tamarinds and some rare palm trees. It was so thrilling to spot the pride of lions. They were resting near a pond after a meal. Another interesting thing that we found in Mikumi was Baobab tree. This tree is known as the tree of life. For all the wildlife creatures. The baobab tree has various uses. Its bark is used for natural medicine, to make rope, baskets, cloth and hats. It stores water during dry season and it's vital for the wildlife. Its edible fruits, called monkey bread as the bamboo monkeys love it. The trunk of the tree is filled with hollows, making it the home to varieties of animals. Pouches has been storing supplies and hiding themselves in old hollow trunk. Pouches were used as a house, house. and there's a store to put their uh, uh, ivory and then dried meat and meat other things. And in there. Oh, okay, okay. The pouches made small steps within the trunk to make it easier to hide.
The giraffes in Mikumi are considered to be linked between Maasai giraffe and retriculated giraffe. It's already afternoon. We stop by to have our lunch. Box here. <laughs> so the, the anti-lion is keeping clicking it to make it not go away. And then later on, they will inject and suck blood from mm. some soap from it. Like that until he's tired. Yeah, you see him? You want to catch, to catch it. Mm. Yeah, that's anti-lion wizard. Here comes the most weighted animal, the African elephant. Africa, there are two different species of elephants that is African savanna and African forest elephants. In Mikumi, we find the African savanna elephants. Finally, we are done with our safari and the next interesting itinerary is a visit to the Maasai village which I will be including on my next video. If you are a nature and wildlife lover, do subscribe to my channel for more videos. So see you my dear friends on my next video.